conversation with applause. I never hear the bell. Yeah, I know. You don't hear the bell. I only, I think, no, none of them hear the bell. And the weird thing is, I go watch the video and I'm like, oh, did I time my first sentence right? What, what do you think is better, for us to sit there for moments of awkward silence or, or regular comfortable silence? And then for I us, talk. I think it's a comfortable silence. Yeah. I vote for the audience, not for us. Oh. Oh. Know. Because what happens now... Well, I just now, assume we don't have an audience, so... Aw. But what happens now, that's, that's, that's happy. What happens now is when you go, when you watch the Hangout on Air, there's the Hangout symbol and goes for about seven seconds. Now, seven seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're watching YouTube videos, seven seconds before anybody talks is a long-ass time. And so if it's seven seconds before anybody talks and we wait, it'll be like another, it'll be like ten seconds. And then, so I just talk, repeat. Is the show over now? Because already... <laughs> This show is already over. Yeah, it's done. My was... oldest, so rude yet funny. So rude though. Um, Annika O'Brien, who's nothing short of brilliant and beautiful. She's was... not short either. No, she's not short. She was taking the time to show Anna Grace, who is seven, a robot she'd made, and she was explaining it um, in a level that Anna Grace could understand. Now, Anna Grace is a very intelligent seven year old. And she's telling her all about this robot, and I could tell, I could feel in Anna Grace's shoes in my lap, I could feel in her body language that at, at what point she, her, she was losing interest. Because she couldn't touch it, you know, but she was interested. And she finally said something like, less yapping, more roboting. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And Annika's reaction was... <laughs> she said, no, that's okay. And so she said, I just want to tell you why this robot is so cool. No, and robot! Right? And it was really, really cool. It was awesome. And I was fascinated because by explaining it so a seven-year-old could understand, I could actually understand it. And, I mean, I understand what a robot is, but I understood how this could do things. And when she said, less yap and more roboting, it was just like... So naturally, I said, "Blame you always blame it on someone else." That oh, she gets that from her father. There is, there is a uh, whatever the movie is. I've forgotten the title. With um, jeez, the hotness. Um, oh, that's not fair. The hotness. There's a million of those. The hotness. Um, uh, Bateman. From, Jason uh, Bateman. Jason Bateman. The hotness. He he is the hotness. The hotness. Uh, by the way, one of my girlfriends said... Wait, 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 wait. Jason wait. Bateman's hot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now or like Valerie's place? Well, this is cute then, but now. Much like Robert Downey Jr., he's gone... Whoa, into... whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. You're comparing Jason Bateman to Robert Downey Jr.? Let me finish. Okay. Much like Robert Downey Jr., as he has aged, he has acquired a certain level of hotness. You mean less than zero if we're going to call Robert Downey Jr.? Sorry, that was I got I got to that's got to be brought up less than zero. Okay. So anyway, we'll whatever movie he made where they they it was one of those the switching soul switcheroo movies. That was the one with Ryan Reynolds. Yes, him? with Ryan Reynolds. Now, now is Ryan Reynolds movies. hot, by the way? I don't find him attractive. You don't, but like Gladly does cuz they just got married and I I made it happen. Anyway, go on. Um I mean he's not ugly, but I don't find him attractive. Cuz he's Does that make sense? What? Oh, no, right. it's just because he, he's just average guy looking to me. If uh, choosing between Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman, uh, I mean, hands down, Bateman, hands down. There's no contest to me at all. Bateman wins. I don't even have to think about that. But anyway, I was telling this to my girlfriend Shan, and she says, "Do you know why you like Jason Bateman? Because all of his characters in the movies that he plays, it's they're all you. He's just playing you. Like oh." Well, that aside, um, in that movie, whatever it was called. Wait, what do you mean? How could you aside that? How is Jason Bateman a man playing you, let, a woman? Let me let me just get to the point. The point is, as they've switched bodies and stuff, he's explaining to himself, which is his friend, how to take care of kids. And he says, look, if the kid acts up, they're tired or they're going through a phase. And that's only applicable if it's your own children. If it's someone else's kid who shows bad behavior, well then it just means bad parenting. 
See, that was the joke. I went, I went through the hotness to get to bad parenting. So when she said, less yap and more roboting, I had to deflect it with, it's your father's fault, because I couldn't have it come back on me. I had to You're a sitcom, Jane Allen. You're a sitcom. <laughs> I had to make it go away. Well, your father would have done that, so that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I want to talk about now, Jane Allen? I want to talk about body switching movies. Let's talk about... Oh, let's I love with, body switching movies. Let's start with Vice Versa, uh, Fred Savage, Judge Reinhold. That's a classic, right? I think I'm going to start with the original Freaky Friday. The original. Oh, all right, you want to go with that? Okay, we'll start there. We'll start. The original was Freaky Friday, sure. Uh, Jodie Foster, right? Yeah, the original Freaky Friday. And Jody then they Fo made a new one. Jodie Foster has, was as a child actor. Has Jodie Foster worked more as a child actress or as, a, as an adult actress? It's it's. Uh, I, don't, I don't know because I can probably name more of her. I mean, the little girl who lived down the lane. That was a freaky movie. Taxi Driver was kind of you know. Then the one where they were all kids and they were all gangsters instead of shooting each other. They Bugsy Malone and they were they all used pies. Yeah, I remember that. It was kind and of then, odd. So, and then I guess by the time she may be accused, she was no longer, she was older than 18, right? So, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. That but was anyway, the movie where they raped her on the pinball machine, just in yes. case you haven't seen. Spoiler alert. Okay. Yes. Did Spoiler she not person. win the Oscar for that? Or did she, was think, that one of those things where she was nominated but didn't win until Silence? I think she did win. I think she did. Yeah, I think she won for that. I think she won. Anyway, uh, switcheroos. Is it, is it wrong? Is it wrong to say she won because she took one for the team, or that? Yeah, that probably sounds wrong. That, okay. that would be wrong. That would be wrong. And she to took say. one for the team in the Hotel New Hampshire. That she took I one with the I team. I didn't see that movie. Oh, with the team. The, okay, that it. was the that was the one where Rob Lowe played her brother, but the whole team did her. But at the end, she does her brother. Wow. Is it? Anyway. When you, when you, I think Rob Lowe. I think that movie that he did with Demi Moore, where like all they did was have sex before Demi Moore had fake boobs. Remember? No. Uh, what about one night or something like that? Something like that. I didn't. Anyway, switcheroo movies. Yes. Yeah, so switcheroo movies. Uh, are, Seventeen again is amusing. Seventeen again with with uh, Burns. Could it be Burns. any funnier? Oh, so I thought Seventeen again was Zac Efron. Oh, so, so. I skip the vice versa, and then you go back, and then you go all the way to Zac Efron. What is going on, kid? Because because I real in seventeen again, I realized just how doable he was. Zach or Perry? Yes. Both. Right. Yes. Could you be any vague, more vague? Could I be any more? Yeah, they were Can both you doable. Be because they were the same person. Okay, He's, is this wrong? I didn't see that movie. Yes. It's okay, wrong. you know, I'm just in my late twenties. Is this wrong, though? Early. Hello. Happy 24th birthday. I Whatever. know. Is this wrong? Um, now, I, now, I am married, so, of course, I wouldn't do this, but sometimes I see the uh, I see the, the youngsters, and I don't know how old they are. This happened the other day. I drove by. I had no idea how old these guys were. They could have been overly developed 16-year-olds to 28-year-olds. You, you do live in the deep south where men mature faster, right? Exactly. Um, and they were just walking along with their shirts off and stuff, just walking. And I just saw them from behind, and I thought, huh, how about that? And then I thought, geez, they could be not old enough to drive, and that's why they're walking. This is wrong. That's all I thought. That's just a passing thought. Or they could have been old enough to drive and felt like walking. I have no idea. I was just passing. I was just, that's creepy now, and I'm not going to even go on with that. All right, so you don't really know for a fact how old they were? You oh, were just I have no guessing. idea. You no, know, I didn't know who they were. Uh, they could have been out, in their 20s. Shout out to Maddie James, Christopher Rizzo, Cheryl Wilson, Jerome Freed, or is it Fried? Winona Gibson. Oh, Jerome is a delight. Is he a delight? He is. I've hung They're with watching him. us. Yeah, I have no clue. So I don't know if that's actually wrong to find uh, guys attractive when you do not know how old they are. Uh, I don't think... I think you could appreciate beauty at any... Yes, yes, I appreciated their beauty. It's now, it doesn't matter. If, on it is it does not matter how old they were. I wasn't going to stop and pick them up. You know, unless they needed assistance. Maybe they wanted some Froyo, you know? <laughs> Maybe they did want some Froyo. Maybe they wanted some Froyo and a slice of pizza. I, I don't know what they wanted. I just know that 
they shouldn't have any problem getting what they want. Did you now? All I can think about it is that now we're talking about movies. It's the movie show we used to do. That. Uh, Patrick yeah. Dempsey in the mood when he was with all those older women. Is that when he got arrested? Wasn't no. Um, you didn't see that. All right. How no, about I didn't or see that. or we'll go to Leverboy where he was same character with pizza delivery guy where he he where he made all the wives. No. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that one. With uh, Carrie Fisher and Chris mm -hmm. Alley. And... Yeah, pizza delivery guy. That was fun. Uh, pizza delivery guys. Um, they never they never look like that, do they? Uh, like Patrick Dempsey. Yes, yeah. Because they're probably not going to be a pizza delivery guy. So the Switcheroo movies. Do you like them? Because. Um, like yeah, I mean they're all. And I didn't see Seventeen again. I'll take your word that it was good. Seventeen but... again, I was surprised. I had no expectations whatsoever. I thought I was going to be living in suck towns, and that I is thought a new it was one. pretty good. Living in suck town is uh, is we have to use that more. I like it. Yep. I like suck, suck town. Yeah. Stuckville, suck town, Zuckerberg. But but I did. I did like it. I didn't go. Oh, it's the best movie ever. And what I liked about it was, uh, he had a nerdy best friend. And as as he became Chandler Bing, who who will always be, I'm sorry, Matthew Perry, I'm sorry. But when he his nerdy best friend was still that nerdy guy as an adult, he was my favorite character. Because his whole room was all these Star Wars, the Star Trek stuff. You know, he was a sci-fi guy, and he was my favorite guy, and he was a gamer, and I enjoyed him immensely. I did that not see that. I didn't see that movie. Uh, actually, what I was thinking of, it, you, I don't know if it's based on this one, but there's a movie called 18, 18 Again? Or 18, it was it was George or Burns. It, and yeah, 18 another, Again. Yeah, I guess 17 Again was based on that. George Burns and Charlie was either his name in the movie. I don't know that actor's name. He, I, I could visualize his, his eyebrows and everything. But, uh, but yeah, I was thinking about Vice Versa with Fred Savage, Judge Reinhold, and then... Yeah. You, got you know, the, Judge Reinhold and I went to the same college. And Just not at the same time. Not at the same time because he is a little bit older. Yes, he is. I don't think he graduated from there. He just went there a year or two. No, yeah, he was too busy playing with Eddie Murphy. Um, or no, Phoebe, Phoebe Cates. Theme. Yeah. That must be great. Oh, guess what? You're going to be cast as Phoebe Cates' brother. Oh, that's good. Oh. Now, I also like Jennifer Garner's 13 Going on 30, if, if only for the thriller dance. Did not see that one either. Sorry. I, so I then, guess. why do you want to talk about Switcheroo movies? I'm sorry. I saw the good Switcheroo movies. I saw like Father Like Son with Kurt Cameron and Dudley Moore. Okay, okay. I did too. But well, I mean, they're basically all the same movie. Same one. Same. Yeah. You know, and what people find out is that they either have it pretty good, the way their life is, and or they learn a life lesson by walking in someone else's shoes. That's what Freaky Friday taught us. They taught the mom to loosen things up a little, and they taught the daughter, hey, it's pretty tough being a mom. But my favorite scenes in all switcheroo movies is when the adult is the teenager, and they're in class, and they show up the teacher. That's always my favorite. Oh, yeah. Judge Reinhold, or was it? It was Fred, oh, Fred Savage. That's why I like Vice Versa so much, because Fred Savage does that in the entire movie. And he's sitting here in the bathtub drinking the martini, and the, mm -hmm. and the, the ex-wife comes in. You're, he's drinking now? And you're taking the martini out of his hand. And, <laughs> so. I, I enjoy those immensely. And I, Heaven Can Wait, you can th throw all of those. Here comes Mr. Jordan. You can put some of those in there, too. But they don't tend to play on that knowledge from the future, because you're older, tossed right. into it as much. And I guess Big doesn't really count as a switcheroo, although there is a little Big bit of Big does a little bit. It's a great movie. But it's he doesn't have knowledge from the future. He just became big. He did. But because he doesn't have knowledge from the future, it's, it makes him play the piano in F.A.O. Schwartz, yeah. which his adult self might not do. And he also um, he also destroys John Hurd uh, before he was in Home Alone. That makes him bleed. Or he makes him bleed. And I love the, I don't get it, I don't get it. What is that? When he just like, I don't get mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so I don't get it. Get it. Uh, so a lot that's of people, a good thing. A lot of people want to say hi. They love you, Jane Ellen, Maddie James, and Attica O'Brien. They miss you. Well. They love you. I'm There's right here. She. I don't need to be missed. I'm right here. Hello, Rose T. Rose T. Oh, Paul just sounds on his iPad. iPad to you. Um, 17 Again and Suddenly 30, both funny movies according to Rose T as well. All right, from Australia. That's good. 
Yeah, I was trying to think of any other switchers that came out um, Switcher that movies. popped into my head. Oh, a movie that I really love, All of Me, which is not a... It is yeah, a I love that. Steve Martin and uh, Lily, Lily Tomlin. Tomlin. Mm -hmm. And one of the hardest scenes ever is, you know, you've just got him, and he's acting it by himself, but he has to act as if one side of the body is controlled by him and one side of his body is controlled by her. And it was so believable to me. I loved all of me. Yeah, and that's especially when, when they're in the, he's in the urinal and he's talking to himself and grabbing the PP. Basically, Steve Martin has Lily Tomlin's soul inside of him, I yes. believe, or half his body. Or yes. Something like that. Um, Steve Martin, yeah, is a great yes. physical comedian. And I think a lot of people, a lot of the younger people don't realize it because his later movies are either not as funny or he's more trying to be more intellectual than he mm -hmm. is in his physical self. And I don't know how much that does for people. Yeah, but. if you see him on some some shows, he is a lot more introspective and he's just, uh, he's he's an intellectual kind of guy, but he's also a funny guy. He's both. He's, he's two mints in one. He is a wild and crazy guy. And maybe he's just tired of doing the wild and crazy thing. I mean, yeah. what is he, 60-something now? You know, Bill Murray, too. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Except Bill Murray, best death ever, Zombieland. Yeah. Pretty spoiler, good. sorry. I guess, I don't know if it's, I was going to say spoiler, but then I'm like, it's an old movie already. Isn't it? It is. Spoiling. You know, I was in a hangout where we had to explain what a Twinkie was to someone. And I thought, wow, that's mind-blowing. Wait, because they weren't from America or they weren't old enough? They or? weren't from America. And they didn't know what a Twinkie was, which is okay, because it's not that Twinkies... I remember as a kid thinking Twinkies always tasted stale, just like those Easter chicks. And I yeah. developed... It was, You know, I always had bits that I did, even as a kid, and my bit was those Easter marshmallow chicks, they only made once every 10 years, and then they just stored them in a factory and shipped them out every Easter, and that's why they were always stale. And that's why Cadbury eggs went, went out. Yeah. yeah. So now uh, the Peep, same thing. Do you feel about that peeps. way about peeps too? Peeps. That's what or I'm that's, talking about. You're about the peeps. Chicks, peeps, chicks. Yeah. There's like oh. different shapes. And, you know, yeah, they change the shapes peeps. now. But the, I've I've never had a fresh one, and they're just kind of nasty to me. I'd be a fresh one. And then every year, I used to have a thing where, uh, when I was on my radio show, how many can you stuff in your mouth? And there was, we'd always try to hold a record, and someone would always complain about how somebody died because they stuffed too many peeps in their mouth. And I thought, I think that's an urban myth. I agree. And so, what was the rec What was the number that you came up with? Do you remember? It was probably twelve. Did you partake in this? Oh in this no, contest? no, I couldn't because I, I actually have a very small mouth. I physically have Whoa! a very small mouth. I know. Everyone says I have a very big if I, mouth. So. If, if I've heard it a million times, my dentist will say, for someone whose mouth is running as much as yours, it's very <laughs> Your small. Your mouth is a running mouth, and I want you to, yeah, stretch it. Stretch it's out a very mouth. small mouth. Oh, what, your dentist oh. is a Jew? No. Your, de your dentist sounds a little like Alan Arkin. Your dentist is like Alan Arkin. Ah. Jay? Yes, my, denti my dentist is Alan Arkin. That is awesome. I guess Oddly he, does he doesn't have enough to so, do after his Oscar. Have you, have you had any uh, serpentine? Serpentine. Have you had any brush with Alan Arkin? You've had brush with many celebrities. Yeah, no, I didn't get the chance to brush with Alan Arkin. Uh, I'm trying to think of when it comes to older celebrities. John Mahoney, the father from Frasier was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, older, older. Christopher, I was in the same room as Christopher Plummer. I didn't get to talk to him during Beautiful Mind. When he Sweet. Was, that's, uh, you were in the same room with Christopher Plummer, and I was in the same room with Andy Summers. Whoa! Yeah, kickstart my How about heart. that? That is, that is nutty. That is wild. Uh, I think the freakiest person, I the fact that I met Brittany Murphy and, then she, and now she's dead, and she was young when I met, you know, it's, that's freaky to be with someone, to, to have met a celebrity before they, they died too young. It's kind of crazy. Well, it would be even freakier if you were to meet her now. Which might probably never happen, so that is correct. Probably. Probably not. Switcher, I don't think there are any more Switcher movies. I think we've, we've covered all the Switcher movies. Uh, 
What if we did a switcheroo movie? That would be awesome. Do you think that if we did a switcheroo movie that we would both become infinitely more popular? Or... <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt, right? I mean, I wonder what you know, my stream would turn into. Disney signed on. I know Disney. Yeah. Write us a script. I'm sure we'll that's going to happen. Flip around. We'll do a social network flip. Flip, 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 Adelphia is what I'm talking about. It'd be about. really terrific. I know. It'd be an amazing movie where people. I I mean, I would never leave the house, and you might leave the house. So. I'm something. totally leaving the house. I've left. I leave every day. Maybe. And and um. I'll be traveling up. I, I haven't done the whole trip yet, but I'm I'm making my way toward you. So far, uh, so uh, yeah, it is. The girls put their music up too loud. Can you hear it? Is it really that loud? And as long as we can't make out what it is, I think it's all right. Oh, right? Can you make it out? Because I can uh, turn it. Up. Yeah. They, they got up and turned it up. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose, because they're mad that you're ignoring them? Probably because they can hear me. <laughs> Anna yeah. Grace, turn down that music! All right, I'll go, I'll go turn it down. You go turn it down, and I'll turn it up while you're away. Okay. Jane Allen's going to go. This is the Plus Came Show. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Matt Rappaport. We do this every Monday, 9.15 p.m. Eastern, 6.15 p.m. Pacific. We've done six months of show. I've got the big anniversary show, one year anniversary of Hangout Conversations coming up. I'm going to check in with our audience. Hello, audience. You are lovely. What movies are you watching? What switcheroo movies have you seen? Do you have a favorite switcheroo movie uh, that you like? And what else is going on in the world of you? We are live. Maddie James, Paul Riston, Annika O'Brien, Rose T, Cheryl Wilson, Christopher Rizzo. Jerome Fry, Freed, uh, Winona Gibson, and uh, let me go over and check their threads out. If you're watching on YouTube, that is pretty awesome. Thanks for checking us out. Bada boom, bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, did you see the 15 things about me? That is going around. That is the hashtag of the day. Stephanie Wanamaker is, is putting that out. The 15 things about me. and I did one video-wise. Jane did one. Everyone and their mother did a 15 things about me today, I think. Even Ashlyn did 15 rumors that may or may um, not be true. I had the best time. Ash and Amy Gabriel and I wrote our 15 things together. And I'm not going to say who wrote what parts of whose 15 things, but we had a good time. Nice, nice. So what was your favorite? Did you have a favorite one of yours or favorite line? That's... My favorite line was... Um, on Amy's, I, I created jeggings. Nice. And so, therefore, Conan O'Brien, if you're watching Team Coco, you should probably circle Jane because she created what you like to wear, jeggings. Yeah, yeah, I created that's, jeggings. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, 50, is that, so that's kind of crazy, Jim right? And McCloskey did a really great one. I think I saw that. There was a David someone that did a really cool one, and I just said 15 things about David. And so. Mark Jensen... He totally um, served up my plate of crap back at me nice. because I gave him the most outrageous thing. He took his 15 things. Instead of writing 15 things, he said, ask me 15 things. And so I decided to be, what's the word, obnoxious? And I said, name each Star Trek series captain a positive and negative point about each, and then tell me with which which captain you identify the most closely, which is a is just a, a shitload of work. Yeah. And he did it. Well, the, yeah, they, they are all of these are shitloads of work. Even coming up with 15 things about yourself seems to be a lot of work. But that's really cool. It's amazing how many I throw up some hashtags, and you literally can write. I think I wrote I wrote one 15 ways I met your mother, something like that. Um. It's pretty crazy what, oh, what she started. Oh, my God. The world's biggest spider. Oh, I thought you were having orga an orgasm. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. All right. I got scared. Uh, Jane Allen will be right back. She's dealing with a spider, the world's biggest spider that she's ever seen in Nashville, Tennessee. 15 things about me. Do some random, random ones. Michelle Bell, number four, her favorite hobby is knitting, but don't tell anyone. Oops, guess she did. Uh, Slade O'Brien refuses to swim in water 
that he cannot see the bottom of because as a child he was attacked by a nest of leeches so bad that he had over 100 on his legs after coming out of a muddy creek. I wouldn't want to uh, swim in water after that. That's like taking your uh, kid to see Jaws when he's five. That is a mistake. Mistake. Randy D. O. Dot says, number 13, my sense of humor is pretty vulgar, but only a few people get to experience it because of number 14, which was, I try to please people way too much and try not to offend people far too often. Okay, Randy. Excellent. Olivia Kayat uh, says so she's a lefty, but can only serve tennis with her right hand Jane Ellen's back. Jane, is the spider dead or gone? Or uh, I don't know where it is. It's a wolf spider, and it was on me. Now, when you say a wolf spider, is that that? I don't know what that is. A wolf spider is a large spider. And um, I thought, there's something tickling my <laughs> bare ankle. And I was thinking, well, it's not one of the dogs. It's not, it felt like. Oh it's not God. one of my plus lovers. Oh. Is it? So is it? Do you think it's gone? No, it's not gone. It is somewhere. In the vicinity, of course, I'm by the back door, and the back door's open. Well, the screen isn't, but no, it's a spider. It could get in. Yeah, I have no idea where it is. Now, when you made your 15 things about me, what ah, Jesus, I just found it. Did you okay. kill it? Oh, I'm going to try. Here, I'll let you listen to me. I'm gonna, we're going to listen, listen to Jane Ellen killing a wolf. Thomas Wolf Damn spider. It. There she Dad. goes. There she Dad. goes. There goes. Dad. Die. Oh my no God. animals were harmed in the making of this video. Uh, do not be scared. Damn Jane Allen is, oh is doing physical comedy without us. Oh. There it is. She's not an orgasm right now. She is a physical spider killer. Oh my God. Um, Jane Allen is trying. We're not really killing it. Don't be scared. She's just getting rid of it, whatever that means. Taking care of business. Uh, 15 things. I didn't see Jane Ellen list. She was so scared or upset spiders that spiders upset her. It's I did not huge. see that. That's what she said. And Oh my god. Where the fuck is that spider? <laughs> well, this show just got infinitely more insectical. <laughs> oh my god. Now, was that scarier than your hysterectomy? Or what are we, what are we talking about? <sighs> well, as my friends have told me, who handles spiders and snakes. And no, I'm not turning the thing back on until this mother is at, oh my god. So the mother uh, you is just don't expect to see them. You the voice you're hearing is Jane Ellen. She is trying to deal with her wolf spider. And uh, hopefully she'll be all right. There are a lot of people concerned right now about your safety and well-being. I oh, think she'll wolf. be okay. It doesn't mean that I'm going to turn into a wolf. It's just they're big ass hairy. Well, we did talk about Jason Bateman, and as everyone knows, he was in the sequel to Teen Wolf. So, exactly. Teen Wolf Two, T O O, because they're uh, clever. This the rest piece of shit could be anywhere. The rest oh of damn it! If it crawls back. in my mouth while I'm asleep, I'll just die. You might, but you'll never know because you'll be sleeping. So. Oh my god. Sleep with one eye open, gripping your pillow tight. Hold on, I'm gonna unplug. You should unplug. I'm going to continue. Oh, oh is, am I going to Oh, I don't care at this point, you know? <laughs> Jane L doesn't care. She's killing spiders. Oh, now, now it's not Michael Imperioli from uh, Goodfellas. That's a different kind of spider. This is the Plus Tainment Show, and people are wondering surviving. if you are surviving. Jane L, you're a survivor. You will survive. So big, she said. That's that's what she said. Uh, yeah, Maddie Rue doesn't want you to kill the spider. All right, Maddie. Maddie James. Who doesn't want said, me to kill the spider? Maddie James said, "Don't kill the spider." Yeah, Maddie. Whatever. Whatever. You have no idea how big. The spider you don't even know don't or want to know. know how no, big Spider-Man stays. I have an agreement with the bugs. They stay outside. I don't kill them outside. They are happy to live outside. I live inside. That's the arrangement. Right. Well, if I was an insect and it was hot as hell outside, or there was a door open and it seemed to be cool well, there, I'd scream. Right. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Damn it, oh. Janet. Uh, Wade Brooks married his high school sweetheart five years after graduation. Uh, that was his 15th thing, number one. We're reading 15 Things About Me because it's fun. Jamie Sloan said she spent an hour trying to think of 15 interesting facts about herself. 
only to realize that she might be the most uninteresting person on the face of the earth. Paris Hilton is fascinating compared to her. I feel your pain, Jamie Sloan. I don't think it's that bad. Jeff <laughs> York yeah. lived in Atlanta, Georgia for three years. Holler. Or Dre, oh, Connor, just oh. Lewis. Jane, you really sound, uh, you sound like you went through a, uh, the last, the our... I don't know where it is. If I knew where it was, it'd be okay. But you see, do I you think Do you think people think that we planned this bit like we've done in the past, or do you think they think it's real? <laughs> they can think whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. There was a spider, see, and it tried to bite me in the pee-pee. Oh. I just hope I stunned it. And it's just gonna crawl away and die. Now, oh, I should have sprayed. Yes. When you say you stunned it, <laughs> what what would stun a spider? I had a shoe, and I was trying to stop it. But you see, what I've done here, what I've done here in this space, I ha I live in a rambler because I'm a rambling guy. You're I live a rambler. In a rambler. And see, the rest of my family was until this outburst asleep. Oh, I have to make sure my feet aren't on the floor. And so so I don't disturb anyone. I made a little place out here for me. When I say, in the Rambler, when you walk into my house, there's the great room. And the kitchen and the dining room and the, the stone fireplace and the living room is all the great room. And then one third of the house is the master bedroom and then the other side of the house are two bedrooms and bathrooms and things that's how the you house have a goes. nice size house with stone it's okay <laughs> and so um the girls go back and forth between their two rooms so i didn't want to set up in one of their rooms and i my husband he has his schedule, and if I was talking, he would be up all night. And, you know, sometimes you and I tend to stay up late talking. So I got this screen, and I moved to this little corner. And so I claimed my little corner in the middle of the house by the back door so I can I can hear the birds and let the spiders in. And so that's what I did. So all my cords, my ethernets and everything, are under me. Now they're tucked away, but I had pulled the... I had... I had a, I hardwire my laptop for Hangouts, so I'd pull my stuff outside. So my cords are out as opposed to back and away. So the spider went under the cords because it knew better the bastard. Your cords are back and away. Yeah, so usually my cords aren't right under my feet like they are. And usually I sit on my legs anyway, and I would have just seen its stealth. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> Did you find something? Okay, well, Jane Ellen's going to go deal with the spider. You might remember an earlier episode of Plus Payment where another person that we had as our host ah, dealt, with, got it, dealt with that got fly. Got it, got it. Wow, Jane, let out your aggression. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Spiders everywhere under your shoe and your underwear. Jane's got spiders in her hair. Watch out now. Axel Oyhanarte from Buenos Aires says, I don't understand these. Well, what's going on is the show about plus payment, which is entertainment, man. And Jane Allen just killed okay. or dealt with, I should say. We don't kill things on plus payment. It's we dead deal now. With, you, mean, you mean you dealt with it. It's not dead. You dealt with it. So let's not lie to you. dealt with it, and it's dead. And it's not in the picture anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Not anymore. Completely and totally gone. Unless that was its friend. It's gone. Let's cover that up. Okay, we were talking about switcheroo movies. Uh, I think we were way past switcheroo movies. <laughs> we were on to spiders, and we were talking now, about... Now, I'm not anti-spider. Spiders do wonderful things. Again, they're not allowed to live in my house. They can live right outside the door. I got no problem with that. I've had tarantulas on me. But not random tarantulas, not just any tarantula. Is that your nickname for your secret G plus levels? Random tarantula, yes. Yeah, uh, and wolf spiders, they're just bigger and hairier, but they're not the size of a tarantula, but still. Now, what's the worst a wolf spider can do? Bite you? Yes. Uh, and of course, in Australia, my God, they kill you. Or UK, the UK, I think. 
your poison is according to most, uh, most everything in Australia can kill you. But I'm not in Australia. Uh, and now, of course, if I'm incorrect, let's say that's not a wolf spider. Let's say I'm wrong. It's a brown recluse. Well, then that would be truly bad. <sighs> Heart rate slowing down. I so wish it had been a snake, you know, because I'm <laughs> that much would have better been with way snakes. Better. No, really, I'm so much better with snakes. Again, though, snakes aren't allowed in the house. And it, had it had been green or black, I would have just picked it up as no problem. I but my girls aren't allowed to pick up snakes, but they have at my friend's pet store. But uh. that is interesting. Uh, so. Now that yes. you you've you've dealt with your problem, you talked about such your movie movies. The, the day, I, I can tell you a bug story though. September tenth. Okay, should we talk about a bug story? Or should we get into the fact that it's fall TV? Should we? Well, this is a, this. At first, I was disgusted by it, and then after I thought about it, because I don't know all the detail details, so I can't bog you down with it. But we had talked about robots, and then I saw this story about cockroaches. And they were taking, they, whoever they are, were taking cockroaches and making them into a live robot, which meant they were biobots. And I thought, what purpose could that possibly serve? And the purpose is the cockroaches can go anywhere. And so they could help find people who were buried under rubble at, in case of an earthquake or something like that because they can get into small places and sense if, you know, I guess there's a, if there's a body and maybe if there's a living body, more than we just keep unpiling debris and hope we find somebody. So when there are, natu when there are natural disasters and things, they have these biobots that you could have a, a web that you could send out of sensors that okay. I understood, even though I was kind of creeped out by it. I see how a cockroach is a pretty indestructible animal, and these are of size that they put these little things on them, and they, they could be controlled enough to send back information. So I was fascinated and grossed out at the same time. The robot bugs? Yeah. The robot bugs, yeah. yeah so they were been... not building an, an entire robot and calling it a cockroach. They were using a live cockroach and putting a few, let's say, bionic parts on it. So I I don't know if there was a, a hookup where someone could see where the bug was walking, but they said they could make the bug turn right and left. They could control its movements, and the idea behind it was to send out all these bugs as to get information which of course made me think that would be interesting for the spy world and the language was it would help find people in distress right. and now we can just use cell phones who may die of a heart attack when this robot bug was on top of them now we can just use cell phones instead or there's that there's that yeah well if um, a cell phone te let's say it was an inc well if there, if I, again down. i don't know that much about it but i thought it was fascinating and odd at the same time it is fascinating, Ara, and odd. It's so funny. I went into the explore what's hot, and the first post is Lewis Gray talking about the next phone smartphone. So speaking of phones, um, and there's a shot of Manhattan. Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's September. Fall TV is here. Our favorite shows and our not so favorite shows are coming back, and there are new shows. There's a show called Nashville, which I would think. Jane Allen lives in Nashville. There's a show yeah. called Nashville. Will there she watch Nashville? No, I'm sure I won't. No, you heard about this though, right? Hayden Pen Penitary, whatever her name is. Yes. And, yeah. Country. I heard. I heard about the casting for it. Uh, several Did they months shoot? Ago. They shoot it down there, though. Or. Yeah. Or at least most of it. Some of it. Um. Okay. Are you gonna watch X Factor? With because Britney Spears is on it, or? I don't know. Um, I am so involved in rewatching Buffy and right. things that I, I don't know. I've, after, okay, this is the thing. We still have 
the locals and we still have some dish stuff. But after I really shut everything down and switched to uh, Amazon Prime and Netflix, Netflix. Yeah. I and got the Roku and hooked everything up, my interest waned so much. I am mildly interested just because I'm mildly interested. It could be intriguing. I always enjoyed Simon on American Idol. And uh, if Britney Spears is has a lot to offer, then it could be interesting. And I do like competition shows. Right. You have, you have Christina on The Voice, and you have her on. So, you know. So a lot, a lot of, I'm not into those shows. I mean, they're all right, I guess. But um, Although for The X Factor UK, every single time there's a, it seems like there's a million gazillion amazing videos of someone that, basically The X Factor, someone walks out on the stage, they're schlumpy, or they look they look like an underdog, or someone that's gonna be like you know even worse than William Hung, who made plenty of money, uh, and then they sing something ridiculous, or they do something rid ridiculous. I think it's I think it's only singing in the Factor, right? I don't know, um, but I could be wrong. I thought that was Britain's Got Talent. They did that more than X Factor. Maybe, but uh, just from the from the videos. Maybe maybe it's both. Let's but, do it. uh, um, so yeah, I can get into a show like that. I can if I'm in the mood for it. And I have. It doesn't mean I will though, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see. The Walking Dead will be back in October. I feel like that's how fast time goes. We were just talking about Walking Dead. And I know. By the, time, by the time we're done talking about Walking Dead, Breaking Bad will be back. And another year will go by. And, uh, what will we do? That's crazy. Are you so third Wednesday and Thursday? I'm doing this crazy 24 hours, or we're close to 24 hours because mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be an hour worth of peeing and eating, or 25 minutes. Uh, you'll be there at some point. Yes, I will I be there as much as is humanly possible for me. Now I really will see. I'm guessing I'm not going to have 10 people that are going to want to be there straight. Although, like we'll I said, I, I'm going to commit to as much as I can. It would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I wonder if that'll be the case for I wish I could have more people come in. Um, and then I think a lot of people are pretty genuinely nice and it'll be, they'll have work or they'll have to go to sleep or, you know, where they'll be like, yeah, I'm going to get out and let someone else in. And hopefully I'll have the musicians singing and the artist art, artisting and, uh, or drawing or whatever you want to call it. And, mm -hmm. uh, I can't believe it's been a year, a year. I wanted to make yeah. more videos, but uh, was, let's face it, that's there's enough work. It's not easy. You're busy. Busy, busy. Been uh, you know over a year since I said, "Who is that guy?" and why isn't he doing a show with me? Oh. Who is that guy? But we've been doing it for like six months, and you've been satisfied. I've been satisfied, and no one's been pregnant. So. Exactly. That is. The that is the that is the joy. Well, people have just not either one of us. Yeah, neither one of us, and some of our viewers, mostly none of our viewers, Amy Gabriel and Nick Beatham haven't been pregnant in the last. They did get married, but not they pregnant. They did get married. So that's right. So we're, we're should we to... predict? Are they? Do you think they'll have a kid together? Um, well, they do have six, so. Not six that they made together is what I'm saying. No. Um... Do you think they'll make one? Do you think, I mean, this is, I was thinking this is probably not something we need to discuss, but I, it, there's nothing we don't need to discuss. We need to discuss it all. Um, I have nagged her about it. He's a very handsome man. Um, I say, so you're saying if they had a kid together, their kid would be amazing and beautiful. That's what you're... Yes, but, yeah, six, sorry. that's a lot. And then, then yeah, so seven. seven. Yeah. Unless she has so twins. I don't know. That would be... I can give you a firm, I don't know. That is a good, get, good answer. On your part, for sure. Yeah, that is, a, that is an amazing sauce kind of answer. I have all these index cards that I haven't used that I'll use on the what show. I have. I used to do something on my show, and I stopped doing where it would be random questions and have people pick. And then I did that for a couple episodes till I got sick of it. Um, but I did it for a while. Some of these I'll probably use on the show. These are random ones I haven't looked at. Uh, here's one. This one you'll like. The, what is the greatest and most proud meme that you created on G Plus? Is there one that you adore that comes to mind? 
you don't have to answer, but if there was something, it doesn't have I'm to be maybe to something think. I you've did made so dreams many. dreams that I was really pleased with. Pleasy. Um, I kind of like the one I did with, this might sound self-centered or whatever, but I like the one I did with the live beep shot of when does not simply hang out with Manadi Rob before, even though that's probably, mm -hmm. I'm very modest, so there it is. Yeah, I'd have to go back and look. I mean, one doesn't jump out at me. Potato. Potato, well, potato is not, I don't know if that's a meme, well, but that's just... potato, I did yeah. not come up with that. But you, you helped it go viral, right? Yes, I did. You did help it go viral. It's amazing, this whole trending thing, 15 Things About Me is still going on. People are still posting. But everyone, it's GoDaddy, uh, I guess, is down. Annie Murray, I guess, won. The U.S. Open World Suicide Prevention Day. I did not know it was that. Uh, how does one prevent suicide on one day? Is there? Um, how do you prevent it on one day? Yeah. How do we? So we should I... be preventing suicide all the time, but we have a day to recognize that we're prevent. Like I don't. Know. I guess the point is to recognize that people do feel yeah. that bad sometimes and they need to talk about it yeah. um, I guess be, I guess to raise awareness of it because it's the kind of thing where of course after they've done it, it I mean, what can you do except help the survivors yeah well so, I Tony Scott comes to mind is the most recent example a uh, big example and so I don't even know what happened with that I mean they said he had cancer and they said he didn't have the cancer mm -hmm. he killed himself jumped off a bridge, so, I don't know, yeah. if that, I mean, I think at the end of the day, no matter what it is, no matter how awful it is, you deal with it, you, you do what you can to deal with it, I know it's easier to say than to do. Um, well, first, I would, I would probably say I'm not qualified to answer oh, that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, we're not, but we're just t talking, we're not. I would say that experts. most people who get to that point are, are in such a state that they're not in their normal state of mind and that's what leads them to it and it's probably to show people signs and symptoms that maybe you can help I, I think if someone is bound and determined to do it they will you can't I mean eventually they'll get away from you but I think if you notice that there's an ongoing problem with someone, that's probably what today is about, to help people recognize what's gone wrong or see someone withdraw and maybe say, hey, what's wrong and you're not alone and yeah. see what's leading them down a path that could be darker than they're letting on. That's I, I hear you. And that's probably what it's something like that. Although I just think World Suicide Prevention Day versus, I don't know, making it, maybe they're trying to make it powerful, but, you know. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I, I was made aware of it, really. Say it. Yeah, I don't know exactly. National Parks Monday, all right, celebrate National Parks, says that, I guess that's photography, maybe. Uh, Nicki Minaj, maybe she's on American Idol. Raider Nation, they're playing tonight. Big picture, I am not sure. Toys R Us is on there for some reason. Maybe there's a story I don't know. I love Fizzy. I have no idea who Fizzy is or what it is. And Fall, even though Fall still has a couple of more, well, I guess people think it's Fall. We still have another, what, 10 days, 11 days? Mm -hmm. Those are the uh, trending topics on Google+. Plus. Uh, and but tomorrow, my point, the trending topic will be 9-11 Memorial oh, that's right. and all of that. Yeah, I'm in New York. I can't believe it. Let, now it's 11 years. It's... Uh, we had at the in February we had we went to the memorial uh, in the New York City girl after the Brooklyn Bridge part of the photo walk. It was it was powerful, but they still haven't built a museum, which they said they built. I it's just weird. It's they have the two footprints and some trees. They still haven't finished the Freedom Tower, they're still working on it. Uh, I mean of course it looks way better better than it did a couple of years ago, but Anyway, and also all the other great Tuesday stuff. You know, and, and if, do you do that, Jane? Do you ever just put in a day of the week to see what hashtags pop up just for the heck of it? Have you ever done that? No. 
account ever? Um, really, the only hashtags I've searched are Ashlyn Nathan's three things because I participate in that yeah. regularly. And now, I, I can just get caught up in reading them. Stephanie Wanamaker reshared your uh, 15 things. I thought she had done it. Is that new? And plus what? Seen? The I have three older sisters needs all. That's not. Oh, it, it's weird that it says 1007. Uh, I Carl's, do have three older sisters. Carl Size Left said you, let, you lead a boring life. A boring life? Ha, ha. I don't get his. Uh, that's sarcasm. I guess. Uh, but lots of people participated in the 15 things about me, which is pretty cool to go through and read it all. You know, and some of them were funnier, and some of them were mixed, and I'm inspired to do more of them. Now, do you think these posts, someone, I know someone was saying, oh, that makes it more like Facebook if they do something like that, or, or, or I don't know, it just feels different than, than a Facebook. But, uh, but I, you know, the 15 things are great, but do you think that I mean, usually it's more interesting the 15 things from from everyone, but from the people that really don't post more than like cat gifts or or uh, or nothing. Mm -hmm. They post you don't know anything about them. So when they post something like that, I mean, someone like me and you, we are posting some personal things and stuff from our own lives all the time. So you know, again, it's just another way for you to express yourself on the platform. Um, you, I think you can be happy and be here and just read other people's stuff. Yeah. Or if you want to be fully involved and get in on things like that, go for it. You you don't have to. If, I mean, obviously, I didn't choose to do 15 revealing things about me because I don't choose to reveal 15 things about me because I think that would be ponderous. So I chose to be entertaining. Uh, a few of those things are actually true. I think it's glaringly obvious which ones are, but uh, I thought if I'd put other things in there, see when people ask me things like that, I'll go to the same things because I, I try to think things that other people may find interesting, not necessarily what I find interesting. And so it's this, to me it's just the same old list of stuff I come up with. So that's why I, I tend to juice it up a bit with something more entertaining. So if, if they don't want to get involved with it, that's great. If they do, go ahead. It doesn't make it more like Facebook. For me, Facebook is just, um, I just hate going on there. It's so irritating to me. <laughs> well, that's why I made these lists on Facebook. So you can go over there. You can just go look at the list and look at the people that uh, from Google Plus or, or whatnot uh, that I put together. and. They were George Roundabout, someone else were talking about it. I said, yeah, because people are like, people are starting to see they're getting ads on Facebook from all these people plus people. Yes. And I I'm probably partially responsible because I put everybody in only one group. Mm -hmm. Not that I did it all, you know, I'm only one person, but but it, I think it's interesting to see some I people just... on Twitter and LinkedIn as well. Yeah. As well, yeah, as well, over there. People, some people put the same stuff, and some people switch it up, and some people... I don't know. It's interesting. It, it, to me, it's interesting to see if people are more "quote unquote" real somewhere else than they are on Plus or less, or, or you know, what's what they're what what they get. Like someone gets annoyed about something on Google Plus, and they post a the thing they get annoyed about on Facebook. You know, who knows? All that good stuff. See, I but, rarely post on LinkedIn. I'm, I I might go on there twice a month. I think most people don't post on LinkedIn. I feel like I just look at it. Maybe I'll update a profile, but I won't. Yeah, that's about all I you... do with it. Um, Twitter, uh, I have hooked into my Facebook, so if I go to one of my Facebook pages, it kicks over to all of all of them. So I'll do that once in a while. And sometimes I'll just post directly to Twitter if I feel like it. Because right. some, sometimes you'll get a program that just will or will not load. And so then I'll just go to Twitter. Uh, but other than that, I'm just on Google+. Yeah. But that's just, that's where I... I am the most entertained. But before Google Plus existed, you didn't have Facebook open all day. Um, before Google Plus existed, it was it was probably open, but I read Twitter more. Okay. Just because I like to read, and <laughs> people people didn't people were telling me what they were doing on Facebook, 
but like Google Plus, uh, who I followed on Twitter, they would post links to what they'd written and things like that more, and that's the kind of stuff, it doesn't mean I would comment on it, but that's the kind of stuff that drew me to them more. I would go in and read their, their stuff. Um, that's how I used the platform there. That's pretty cool. I do something very similar. But I've always used everything a lot. I mean, I just was into networking and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think people people are quick to say, "Oh, I hate this, I hate that." But I think it's if somebody is say on Google, they love it, and then Google Plus is not working for them that day, they might say, "F it," they don't look at Twitter or Facebook, you know, mm -hmm. or vice versa. Um, yeah, they have to go and use what works best for them. TV Guide, TV Guide is talking about. We can wrap up with, with maybe this or uh, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Are we sick of the whole thing? Is it annoying? Uh, to why are they stuff? back together now? I don't know if they're back together, but supposedly she apologized and uh, uh, she walked the red carpet in Toronto and said she was a little nervous, obviously, nervous for a red carpet. To be honest, I'm kind of telling myself, you just don't back out. I don't know what that movie is, but she basically said they're going to be fine. They're totally fine. Kristen Stewart literally is only 22. Now, I remember when I was a kid thinking, wow, 22 is, you know, an adult. But isn't that weird? You think that when you're 12, that 22 is an adult, but when you're like 34, you're, you're like 22 is still a baby. Isn't that yeah. weird how that happens? And is um, he also 22, or is he a little older? Or? I think he's a little bit, oh, 26. Not much older, but... Uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, but she did say something that this moment, this momentary indiscretion kissing her director or whatever jeopardized the most important thing in her life, the person she loves and respects the most. Rob, I love him, I love him, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I, I think it's okay. just so part this of Hollywood. What's happened? She kissed her director? Yeah, that was the cheating. I mean, unless it was more than that, I don't know the whole... As far as I know, she was... I don't know if it was sex or kissing. Or I really don't know. I, Something. I don't. All right, not that important. I, I don't know, and now I already don't care. Uh, Dexter and Homeland are coming back. I like those shows. I don't... You, and you have Netflix. Now, Dexter is all over Netflix, I think. Yes, I do need to watch Dexter. And now, I, I have not watched it, but I hear it's fabulous. I would say one season one is great. Season two is... Not as great, but good. Season three sucks ass. Season four is amazing. Season five is kind of a little bit better than the sucky ass season. Last season was six, and it was better. And this season hopefully will be amazing. But uh, so if you need to only watch two seasons, you probably could watch season one, some of two, all of four. Because four, you know who's in season four? His name is John Lithgow, and he is fucking amazing. Really? Yes. Um, well, is it, it Lift Go or Lift Go? Lift Go, right? right? I don't even know. All right. Which um, Archer? I discovered Archer thanks to Ash, and yes. Archer's changed my life. Uh, I've not used Archer, but we're, we're watching much. And um, that also made me think of Sarah Jessica Parker, a sporting Google Glass. Where's ours? Wait, was that at that event she was wearing? Yeah. It? New York Fashion Week. You think she? Do you think it was even like? Did she actually Long? take pictures with it? Yeah, I think it's possible they gave her like uh, a model that was no. Really? It just looked like Google Glass, and to have the you never know, Jane. That's the way this world works. It's all about. Uh, you know perception. that crossed my mind, because we didn't see any photos or postings. From, well, doesn't she have a Twitter account? If it had been on and working, you would have thought she wow. would have done something on her account but the only thing I know you could do with uh, Project Glass that's confirmed is like take pictures and maybe be in a hangout but I don't really know what else you can do or what works but it seems like right now from everything they've shown the demo and all that all I see is that it can take pictures that's about all it feels like it could do based on uh, is it is it Sarah Jessica but in Parker that video, it did everything but wash your dishes yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a mock up for sure. Oh, I wrote Sarah Jessica Park. My bad. My okay. bad. That didn't work either. SJP. Yeah, SJP. Oh, is that her Twitter name? One is... would think. 
I don't know. Sarah Jessica Parker Brod Broderick. Yeah. Uh, so so is Matthew Broderick attractive or not anymore or never or? He's okay. Better or worse than Ryan Reynolds? Or it's not fair because one of them is older. Um. They're both okay. I'm just trying to buy time as my Sarah just Parker page is not is not loading because uh, it's not her. Uh, That's okay. Anything else going on in the world of Jane? Um, no, all the Broad spiders are killed. Um, we're How good. is Broad Minded? I watched a little bit. Uh, of it. Broad Minded is good. Thank you very much. The girls and I enjoy a good uh, chat. What was the highlight of the last show? What was was there a quote or a highlight from the last show? That you that made you laugh, or I think within the first five minutes, I changed the entire conversation to something uh, sexual, and I'll just leave it at that. That's that's beautiful. Any any update on Scarletta? Anything Stoops? Oh yes, Scarletta. Um, they the song right here right now is in the top. 10 six pack whatever it's called on CMT they're they're in a heavy rotation on CMT country music television and the song has broken into the top 50 they're in the 40s now on the country music chart the billboard chart that's pretty cool that's so pretty right, here right now and they are touring classic. regularly uh, so that's great news for Scarlett and for Scarlet. Especially since it's their first release, their first video. And yes, Nathan uh, Nathan says he is ready to do a hangout with you when we can coordinate it. Oh, great. I mean, he's yeah. done some with you before. We tried, and we tried to do one, and the connection was terrible last, the last yeah. one. Yeah, he needs to do one when he's in one of the studios. In a city that has... Well, he was at his place. Oh. Uh, should upgrade. Okay. Yes, he should. But he travels so much, he really has nothing there. I mean, I've been to his apartment, and he's just... He's oh, getting, you've been there. I've been there. Yeah. And he just, you know, he's he's got furniture and stuff, but it's really sparse because he's on the road so much. He's What he really has are clothes and a TV well, and a computer. thank God he has clothes, right? Or not yeah. for some of them, well, but, uh, but he doesn't really need clothes. But yeah, that's, but that's what he has the most of. He has... He's got a, a TV and clothes. You know, his bed and his couch. Does he? Is his fridge? Is it, he has what? Water, beer, anything except zero in his fridge. I wasn't in his fridge. All right. I just thought maybe you would guess. You would know. But, uh, well, I've been grocery shopping with him, so he knows how to cook. He's a great cook, and he comes over to my house to cook. For you and your family. Yeah, we cook together. Oh yes, you do. Oh yeah. Giggity, giggity, <laughs> so that's we were... it. The show is long over. The show is always longer. We're always in overtime. I Scarletta. Just... Scarletta. Purchase it. Is on that... iTunes and Amazon. Scarletta. It's got a like a barbed wire heart. Scarletta. Yes. Scarlet. So did we did I ever ask him how they need to I think I asked him how they need to Scarletta. Did I? I'm sure you did. And um you know, I at this point I don't even remember. It's just we went through so many band names. What was the it's worst? Just, is there one? Is there a funny or worst band name that comes to mind? Like Spotted Dick or? Something? No, it was Pearls and Chains. <laughs> what? Pearls and Chains? That's like two. Yeah. That's sexual times ten. Yeah, Pearls and Chains. It, for all I know, it's going to end up being Pearls and Chains again. There's just been so much Pearls, going on. Can they switch it? Really? After all this, they can. It's complicated. Pearls and chains. Is pearls and chains is better than the pearl necklaces, right? I that's what I told them. I said you can't call it pearls and chains. Well, we wear chains, and Aubrey represents the pearl. I said you can't call it pearls and chains. You will never be on TV ever. 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 And then when I pointed out why they couldn't call it pearls and chains, like oh, Benji said that too. Like yeah, you can't call it. Pearls Wait a chains. second. Did they react like they're like twelve, like and they had no idea? Oh my God! Is that what that is? Well, they weren't. They really weren't thinking. It, when you have to name a band, and you go through all these band names, it really is 
exhausting. Sources. I mean, it went th through a month of names. Well, I went through and, my movie title. And Scarletta, say, yeah. when it, when the band was named Scarletta, one of our friends said it sounded like um, a vampire prostitute. Yeah, I could see that. And it's like, well, that's the one that stuck. And, it, you know, the more we thought about it, it's like, well, and I don't know who came up with Scarletta. It wasn't me. But, I mean, that one fit the best, and it was vague in that you didn't really know what it was, but it was kind of catchy, and you could it, remember it. And It does sound like the Scarlet Letter. Scarletta, the Scarlet yeah. Letter, it sounds. Maybe he said it was kind of related to that. So, but. Vampire Prostitute. Um, <laughs> the vampire prostitutes have beautiful music. Don't worry that they're... Yeah. Somebody, Dara, posted a picture of ice cream with the... You know, the chocolate turtle shell that forms you can get over it? Oh, my yes. God. That's not fair. Oh, I'd like some of that right now. I would okay. like some of that. All right. We'll, ice cream right now. We're going to get some ice cream. But thank you, Jane Allen. Thank, thank you, you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for the spider-killing episode. Spider-killing episode. I'll have to make a clip of just I, the spider... Yeah. Just a spider. Moments. I am so glad. I there was. I'm so glad I had the presence of mind to black it out because the photos you would have gotten of me, would've I never awesome. would have lived down. What? They're just pictures. Yeah, I never would have lived those down. They're just pictures. Uh, all right. So before we go, uh, though, say uh, one mm -hmm. thing about you that you did. Is there one thing about you that you wrote or didn't write that you want people to know? Did you invent the question mark? Or? Did I invent the question mark? Um, did not invent a question mark. Uh, one thing about me. Jeez, oh, I'm trying to think. I know it's tough because everyone knows everything about you. At, you well, just ask me something. And I'll did answer. you wet the bed? You I never wet the bed. Well, I'm sure I did as an infant, but I was not a an adult bedwetter. Um, did you ever? Did you ever throughout your school career? Did you ever do something mean to a boy because you liked him? Not to my knowledge. Did you ever do something nice to a boy because you liked him? Probably. I'm trying to find something here, Jane. I don't know. What do you guys do that? Did you ever go in the backwoods and shoot, drink, and sh shoot stuff? I don't know. No. Um, I used to race my friend Daryl when I got off work at the police station, and he was a cop in the next county, and he would race me on, uh, it was not a back road, but it was a straight shot. I lived 20 miles outside of the town where I was a dispatcher, and I would get off at 2 o'clock in the morning, and he would meet me at the line, and we would race. By the way, don't race a police car. No. By the way, don't race, first of no. all. Don't, don't do race. No. Second of all, don't race. And don't be police. racist, either. And don't be racist. Um, he would always let me be in front, and you then to, he would just... Fun. He would just go right by me. And the last time we raced, my window fell inside the door. So. Did you get a thrill out of the racing call? Was there a thrill? Oh, so my backdrop fell. Um, That's all right. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Because it was, you know, it was beautiful out. And we, we would first would sit and talk. You know what cops are, we, cops are always sitting and talking and they face the other way? You know, and they talk. Well, I if they weren't talking to cops, they were talking to me because because I would just go and say, you know, hey, you know, what's your twenty? It's cop talk for where are you and are you available? And so we'd go and we'd meet up and we'd chat. And so I would just he he would wait on Route Three on my way home and we'd race because we lived near each other. It was fun. So there. Just by the way, don't race and don't race cops. They always win. Or don't race racist cops. Not that there are all racist cops, but if there were back in yes. the 60s. Yes. Um, he was not a racist cop. But don't no. race. And, and don't race cops. That is the lesson learned. I don't know. I have no idea what I would say about me. So, said. Oh, did I tell this? Maybe so I told I the story. But I could tell. This is, because this is not embarrassing. Like, I get embarrassed when I was, I, I told you the sunshine thing already? That's old, right? We talked about that yeah. on the show? We did, right? Yeah. Oh, so I can't tell it again because it's not that exciting. All right. Mm, that's annoying. What happened? Uh, I'm not oh, the spider. chair backed into the thing with all the spider killing. The chair backed into the thing? Yeah. With all, all the right. spider killing. Well, okay. then I won't tell my thing about showing people my thing when I was in kindergarten. That was, that's all I got. 
See, there you go. So I got, but uh, good night, Jane Allen. Sleep tight, or uh, don't let the wolf spiders bite. Don't let the wolf spiders bite and enjoy Buffy. Ah, I, I want to. I should, but I should next fact before we go because I keep stalling. It's the Lord of the Rings ending. Um, <laughs> I should start watching Buffy from the beginning, the TV show. Please and I should do it. I I should come back. We should do. We should have a segment called Buffy Rewind, and I will talk about the sec. Oh the show I. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. All of it. I will talk about each episode. Write notes, and we will talk. We can. I don't know if By you've already way, watched it. It's yeah. one of the top ten shows watched on Netflix. Pretty cool. Yeah. I would also, you know what? I would like to now. Have you watched any of Sons of Anarchy? Because I really haven't. That's on no, Netflix I as well. So I we think should watch that. We should watch those two shows and do a segment called Buffy the Anarchist or something and talk about Okay. About the shows. Uh, yeah, because that really mix well. And anniversary this week, broad minded is gonna there might be a broad minded during Thursday. And, as far as I know. And uh, and the week after there's sex toy day of having trivia, I'm gonna co host that and We'll give away some dildos. No, actually, we can't do that. That's against And I those. hear there's a rumor that I'm on the movie mashup tomorrow. That would be amazing. Movie mashup Tuesday, Mark Rodriguez, Isabel Fortin, and everybody else. Now, I predict that they might put you... They've already done Marilyn Monroe, so I don't know if they're going to do the week this week with Marilyn. Someone else already got that treatment. Uh, I'm trying to think where, what they would... You could I probably... Know. Would it be insulting to say that they would put you maybe in, like, Private Benjamin? Poster, or like a Goldie Hawn. Well, I'm just thinking about. To be Goldie Hawn. Well, Goldie Hawn now, but not 19. Maybe better, 1978. I think it would all depend on uh, what they see in the photos. Oh yeah. Good night, Jane Ellen. Boom chicka wow wow. Boom good chicka night. boom. Have a great night. Let's take a picture. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching YouTube, Google Plus, subscribe, circle. Eat chocolate. Bada bing. Jane Ellen. Samir.